As a psychiatrist, I often find that many people have such low self-esteem that low self-esteem is actually seen or experienced by others in the form of anger. One of the, the things that we might need to do is to look within ourselves, realize we are special, we are all powerful, we can do anything that we choose to do. It's all about choices. You have everything that you need to succeed. Succeeding does not mean harming others. It does not mean neglecting others. It means bringing them along with your success. Again, you have to succeed in order to help others. It's something to think about. I'm Reverend Ernie Chu. I'm a pastor at the Spiritual Center for Spiritual Living in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This thing is to realize that, um, that within each of us, there's a worthiness that we're, not, we're coming from a, a sense of inner wealth and power and therefore there's no lack, there's no um, limitation on what we can Hello, do. Hello, my name is Tom Beal. I am uh, the VP of Operations for Mike Phil Same. Change in, in the world will begin change in yourself. And I feel uh, the commitment to being the best that you can be, to quote the Army I guess, uh, making that one commitment to try to be better today than I was yesterday. Try to be better tomorrow than I was today. Whether that's changing some of the words, changing some of the thoughts, changing some of the actions that I do. Don't have to be life changing uh, in, in one dramatic fell swoop swing, but one small step at a time. Personally, my life has transformed and in my life transforming, others around me have transformed. And I just feel it's, it's taking the responsibility for, for the only thing that you are responsible for. The thoughts that you have, the words that you say, and the actions that you take. And with those with taking control of those, you will become that lighthouse. Other people will, will be attracted to you and you may impact other people's lives, which has that ripple effect.